you know, shorts are an important part of a two-way market. You know, some people are going to bet a stock is going up because the company's prospects are improving and others are going to take the other side and short it because they think they, they think otherwise. So shorts are sort of a lubricant to a two-way market. Now, most of the time, um, the markets usually go up. So being short generally is not really a great strategy, but short, heavily shorted stocks in individual difficult company situations usually end up being right. We know GameStop will, will end up with the same fate, better or worse, regardless of where the stock went prior to the, the spike, the spike, and, and whatever comes next. So my only concern is, is that if we sort of take out a short base, because all these hedge funds are now freaked out, like they can't be short individual stocks, and then they reduce their long exposure, and that's not just a temporary thing, that is sort of a rework of their portfolio construction, and, and if we've scared off a lot of shorts and a lot of different underlying names, then, then, then maybe that, that natural bid to a falling market, which are the shorts covering, may not be there. And maybe we do have more uh, vacuums in trading and maybe air pockets because that short side and that short natural bid uh, is lessened. I think that's one of the things that is most absent from the discussion among amateur investors on message boards who think the shorts are their enemy. The shorts are your friend if you end up being right. They're the buyer. <laughs> and in some cases, if you end up being wrong, they're still your friend because they're going to buy the decline and lessen it as you ride a stock lower. They're sometimes the only buyer there. Right. And and some of the things, and any, any successful investor, it's always good to hear the other side. Like, we may like a company, we love their products, their management, whatever, but there's always somebody out there that may have a difference of an opinion. And it's always good to hear what the other side is here. Yes, you want to hear the pros, but it's good to hear the cons. So you take like someone like Jim Chinos, who, whose livelihood is focused on the short side. And it's, it's always good because when he says something negative about a company, it's worth putting an antenna. Now he's not right all the time, but he, was, he is right a bunch of times when it comes to Enron. And it's always good to hear these things. If you scare out guys like Chanos and the short side, it, we, 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 it, it doesn't lead to necessarily, like I said, a more healthier two-way market. And uh, it, it definitely lessens the debate uh, on a particular company, both good and bad. Yeah, I think when it's your first year or two in the market, you just assume that somebody has a different, has the opposite trade on from you. You just assume like, your job is to hurt them or they're your enemy. I think that's a very immature way to think about the markets. But then I also understand from a populist perspective, when you think the people on the other side of the trade from you are also people who have had a lot of unfair advantages conferred upon them, either by virtue of the fact that they were born into wealthy families and sent to Ivy League schools or otherwise. So I think that we're mixing up a lot of like um, class warfare, class resentment stuff in market mechanics. And people are just so excited that they don't even, they're not trying to understand the difference. They just, if you're short and I'm long, you're fucking dead. I'm coming for you. And that like that, it's like, it's very internet-y, I think. It's not the way people actually behave in the markets in real life. For sure. And, and, right. and I guess and you would do the same. We encourage people to buy a stock based on what they think about the company. Now, if they're technical analysts, yeah, you can look at a chart and, and this is right up your alley and you'll ride the momentum. Um, yeah. But don't let your, just as we say, don't let your politics influence your investing. Don't let your, your anger influence your investing. I mean, you're buying a stock. It's not a, a, a long versus getting angry at a short. It's, it's you versus the company. If you're right on the company, the stock will go up. If you're wrong on the prospects of the company, the stock will go down. That's who you should be focused on is the prospects of that business. If you're a fundamental based investor, if you're a chartist, well, you're going to look at a chart and the chart will take you wherever it will take you. 